We have been saying for years now that Disney needs to course correct, that they need to try to go back to their animated roots, make really high quality, good, enjoyable entertainment again, and steer clear from political messaging. And now we have an, an animated filmmaker who directed iconic Disney films like Little Mermaid and Aladdin saying the same exact thing. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, as a fan of older Disney, it is fantastic to actually see somebody say the same thing that we are us as viewers have felt this way for years at this point that Disney needs to course correct, they need to start listening to us again, and now we have John Musker who directed films such as The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Hercules, so many different things, calling out the Walt Disney Company for prioritizing political messaging over story in its recent films, and this is something that is so prominent in Hollywood in general, also the video game industry. You need to prioritize prioritize making really good, unique, enjoyable entertainment. People do not constantly want to be, you know, beat over the head with a message. Yes, of course, there are always going to be underlying themes like bravery, courage, strength, you know, family, things like that, but we don't need, oh, she's a strong woman who doesn't need anybody in her life and can do everything herself. We don't need that. We don't need, you know, messaging about things like, oh, you know, environmental pollution in the state of the current world, things that actually are referencing current day events. We simply want good content again. That's why I personally grew up loving the Disney animated movies because they were just so whimsical and lighthearted and fun. And that's just not what Disney is anymore. And I do think a big part of that are these live action adaptations. We do not want a Little Mermaid or a Beauty and the Beast that better reflects modern sensibilities. Nobody's asking for that. Nobody wants that. But Disney has continued down the this path and it's been to their detriment. They have lost so much money on remakes and reboots that nobody asked for. I think they need to do a course correction a bit in terms of putting the message secondary behind entertainment and compelling storytelling and engaging characters, he told the Spanish outlet at this year's International Summit in Spain. The classic Disney films didn't start out trying to have a message. They wanted you to get involved in the characters and the story and the world, and I think that's still the heart of it. You don't have to exclude agendas but you have to first create characters who you sympathize with and who are compelling. And this is a major problem in entertainment now. Characters are not compelling. You have a female character who is one-dimensional and it is simply she just exists by herself. She doesn't need a man. She doesn't need friends. She doesn't need help. Or, you know, suddenly you start this movie thinking you're actually going to get some kind of character development. And in the first five minutes of meeting her, she's the same character that she is at the end of the movie. That's not what compelling storytelling is all about. And it's so good to hear somebody who has so much industry expertise say this because we do see so many people who have been part of the industry for maybe their whole, you know, adult life, their whole career, and they are even afraid to be cast out because they know they could be shunned. Now, of course, he has not collaborated with Disney in many, many years, but he's done a lot for the company, and maybe, hopefully, this will actually get through to someone like Bob Iger, who's going, you know what, this is somebody who helped shape the company that we are today. We should actually listen to his opinion. Now, of course, I wouldn't hold my breath for that, but he's done several things like The Great Mouse Detective of an absolutely amazing movie, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Hercules, Treasure Planet, Moana, even Princess in the Frog. So he is someone who has made so many bangers for this company, so many amazing pieces of content. 
He also talks elsewhere in the interview about Disney's live action remakes. Companies are always like, how do we reduce our risk? They're like this, right? We'll just do it again and sell it to them in a different form, he said. Or they think, well, we could make it better. There is no way to make the animated movies that made the company what it is today better. Like The Little Mermaid, don't get me wrong, I think that Holly Bailey has a beautiful singing voice, but she didn't fit the description of Ariel. They got rid of several songs and toned them down for, you know, modern audiences because, oh, they were a little bit demeaning towards women and they didn't want young girls to take the wrong message, even though that means we can't have genuinely evil villains anymore. Um, and while, again, it did you know, impress some people because the CGI is very pretty. Um, it's just nothing compared to the original Little Mermaid, and I feel that way with all of the live-action adaptations. While some of them have been decent, like the Aladdin one, for example, it still wasn't on the same level as the animated, and that will forever be my opinion and many other people's opinions. And yes, we understand that companies are afraid to take risks. They are afraid to, you know, lose a lot of money, and Disney right now is losing a lot of money, but it's not just because of new content. It is because they are rehashing the same stories over and over. They're recycling the same stories and characters, but they don't feel exciting. They don't feel like they have genuinely passionate people behind these projects, and they just come across as being very hollow remakes. And, well, for people like me who grew up loving these movies, it just doesn't, you know, keep me coming back for more. It doesn't make me want to go to the theaters and watch another adaptation like this. And he also had talked about how, you know, live animals in a zoo um, have more expression than all of these live actions. The Disney legend had some issues with the new adaptations. And here's an ex banded quote. He said with like the Little Mermaid, I think there was a question even with that. They didn't play up the father-daughter story and that was the heart of the movie in a way which I completely agree. They did still have a focus on the romance, but it didn't feel as authentic. And they also did kind of, you know, sidetrack the father-daughter story, which was very, very disappointing. I mean, at the end of the original, where King Triton finally realizes what his daughter wants, and she comes out of the water, and there's that beautiful scene where she's getting married, and her father finally understands her, and she understands him, but he still lets her go to live her life like, that was a truly gut-wrenchingly beautiful scene, and the live action didn't capture that at all. He also talked about the animals, saying the crab, you could look at live animals in a zoo and they would have more expression. That's one of the basic things about Disney is the appeal. That's what animation does best. Yeah, sometimes it's just not a good idea to remake and reboot things constantly. And Disney, again, is trying their very best to, you know, go back to the go back to the well and recycle the same things, but it's not working out for them in a way that is profitable. And I wish that they just go back to animateds and make new Princess and the Frogs, Little Mermaids, Aladdins, but I think those days of Disney are kind of behind them at this point, and they still are viewing live action as the future, and I don't think that that is going to work out for them. So it will be interesting to see over the next couple of years how much money they continue to lose with all of these very poor decisions. And obviously, I hope that they take this all to heart and they actually go, you know what, we have this Disney legend saying these things, maybe we should actually listen to him, maybe we should take his feedback into account when we're, you know, greenlighting these next projects. I highly doubt it, but I and many other people completely agree that Disney needs to course correct away from political messaging, even though it seems they are not going to do that anytime soon. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.